of the Lightwood Community Group. I am proud to be from Stoke-on-Trent, and although I have travelled to many parts of the world, there are few countries as beautiful as England, with its rolling green hills and valleys that burst into life every spring without fail. This short video was filmed in mid-March 2016 over Lightwood Valley on the southern edge of the city between Longton and Muir Heath. The Lightwood Community Group, along with the vast majority of the residents of Stoke-on-Trent and the rest of England, object to greenbelt land being used to satisfy the greed of a small minority with plans to destroy an area that I personally consider to be an area of outstanding natural beauty. If the planning application is approved, this beautiful site in Lightwood, with hundreds of years of farming history, will become a huge hideous building site for the short term and an executive housing estate forever. This beautiful quiet area, along with its rich diversity of flora and fauna, must be preserved for generations to come. Thank you. How do you cool. stop towns and cities just spreading and spreading until there is no green and pleasant land left? Well, politicians and town planners devised one solution in the 1930s and 1940s. It was called the Green Belt. In our soapbox this week, the survivalist Ray Mears argues that this concept is under threat and that politicians need to take brave decisions. The Green Belt. You know, I was brought up to believe in Britain as a green and pleasant land. That's very important to me. We have incredible open spaces, fields, meadows, common land, woods and forests. And they're not just for naturalists like myself, they're for everybody. In fact, I take great satisfaction from watching people enjoying them. Runners, cyclists, businessmen walking home after a hard day in the office, stopping to listen to the sound of a blackbird in the top of a tree. It's magical. They're important. They touch us inside. They're good for us. And if we're going to hang on to this green and pleasant land, we need to start by learning to cherish and value our green belts. The green belt, an idea which is still less than 100 years old, was conceived of to prevent urban sprawl. And it has proved to be one of the most successful acts in the history of conservation. It's not just part of what makes us British. Green belts are our greatest unofficial national park. These buffers are maturing into internationally important habitats, often richly diverse in species. They also create healthier air and make our towns, cities and villages happier, more relaxing places to live. It's really important that we preserve the green belt. It's very important to who we are. Can you imagine living in a world with no green spaces? Without that wonderful song, we've been asked to sign up to the concept of a big society. Well, here's an opportunity for politicians to put their money where their mouth is and do something good for the benefit of people for generations to come. Do you think the Greenbelt should be totally protected? You should look at just brownfield sites for... I for think the, the Greenbelt should be sacrosanct. The moment you start to chip into it, you, un, you, 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 you start to pick a hole in the dike and you can't put that back. I think it was a really bright idea when it was put forward. It was one of those great acts of, of, uh, of, of politics and we need to hang on to that. If anything, we should be trying to extend the green belt and maybe encourage planners to create more green spaces within our cities, within the modern construction, because I think it's good for our psyche as a people.